Hey, good morning class. Coming to you from the forest today. I thought it might be fun to do our morning message out here. Come with me on a little journey and let's see what we find. And hey, stick around because at the end, I will give you an opportunity to do a little sharing. Get ready to have some fun. So these guys are super common in Taiwan. Their abdomens have bright green strips down them. This is an orchard orb weaver. They are very good hunters. Wow, check this out. Here a caterpillar is already pupating. That means they've turned into a cocoon and we're waiting for the butterfly to emerge someday soon. Okay, one of my favorite spiders in Taiwan. This is the golden orb weaver. These things get so large that they can actually take down a small bird or a bat. Okay, I have a little surprise for you. You ready? Here we go. Hello. Ah! There went my grasshopper. Okay, if we listen close, I'm just in a big drain pipe here. There are frogs in here. Let's see if we can hear some. Hear that? They're in there. Most frogs are only active at night, probably for safety reasons. But it's nice and cool. Oh, wow, did you hear that? Isn't that cool? Hey, so you never know what you're gonna find in the forest. Spiders molt, that means to grow. They have to uh, shed their skins and get new ones. Here is the skin of maybe a small huntsman spider. She must have shed her skin last night. Isn't she cool? Kind of fun. So this is in the stink bug family, but it's actually a leaf-footed bug. See those back legs? See how wide they are? They actually mimic uh, leaves or leafy stems, something. Here's something fun. This is a mama orb-weaving spider. Looks like she had a pretty good night last night. Her web is all torn up, so she probably caught some stuff. And this species seems like they're okay coming out during the day. And she looks like she's getting ready to weave a new web, so she'll be all ready for tonight. Have fun. Check out that nice little leaf beetle there. That beautiful exoskeleton. Look how shiny he is. Here's another stink bug of some sort. Oh boy, isn't he pretty? Look at that. Oh, he's waving his antenna at me. It's probably a warning. Don't get too close. Okay, here's something kind of interesting. This is an orb weaving spider. I'll, maybe I'll post a picture of it later so you can see it. They've got a white abdomen. They're a little bit uh, hard to photograph. She just caught herself a fly and she's taken it into her web. Hopefully I didn't disturb her too much. I'm gonna let go of this leaf so she can finish eating that fly. Ah, hopefully I didn't mess up her breakfast. Look at this guy I just found. This is a woolly bear caterpillar. They do have little spines on them. Sometimes they sting. Most of the time, if you're gentle, they're fine. Here's something interesting. So this is a crane fly. It must have died in the night. They look sometimes like wasps, but they're totally harmless. Most of them don't even have mouths. They get all their food when they're in their larval stage, and then they just fly around and mate. Maybe this one mated last night, and then it just died. Pretty cool looking, So huh? definitely don't forget to look on the ground. I have just found a fishing spider. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, they're actually fishing spiders. These things can actually kind of uh, put a little bubble of air. Wait a second. That actually might be a wolf spider. That's a wolf spider right there. These guys are, they always hunt on leaves. Look how it sticks on those brown leaves. Let's see if I can nudge it this way here. Hold on. Here we come. Here we come. There you go. There you go. Where'd he go? Lost okay, these guys are so fun. I almost never get photographs of them because they always have their head down. This is a Katie did. There's several of these around right now. They always sit with their abdomen up high and their head down low. And I rarely see them eating. My guess is they probably eat at night and during the day they just hide. Look, there's another one right here. These are both nymphs. That, uh, that means they are not yet adults. You can see some wing buds coming out on that one. Now, uh, grasshoppers and katydids are different from beetles because beetles have a four-stage life cycle. These guys only have a three-stage life cycle. That means when, they're, when they come out of their eggs, they actually look like katydids. Whereas beetles, when they emerge from their eggs, they look like larvae. 
Pretty cool, huh? Okay, I was really hoping I would find one, and I did. Here you go. Check out this beautiful little praying mantis. This one is a nymph. They're like grasshoppers, and they have a three-stage life cycle as well. Let's see if she'll hop on my finger here. She's still pretty small, maybe about three or four centimeters. Hopefully she doesn't jump. Come on, sweetie. There she is. Look at that. Isn't she gorgeous? Now this particular species, I have to look it up when I get back. I'm guessing that's a Herodula. Let me see if I can get a picture of you, this one for you guys. Isn't she gorgeous? Praying mantises, you're gonna be surprised to learn this, are actually closely related to cockroaches. Isn't that fascinating? Why do I love praying mantises so much and not like cockroaches? I'll leave that for you to figure out. Oh, here's a nice one. Check out this golden orb weaver. Isn't she awesome? Look at the colors. A little bit of red and yellow on her abdomen. I'm putting my hand here so you can get an idea of how big she is. Gorgeous, huh? I almost missed this. This appears to be a swallowtail butterfly caterpillar. Is it a pupa? Yes, it is. It has formed its chrysalis and it is pupating right there. Soon we will have a brand new swallowtail butterfly. Yay! So a lot of moths are nocturnal because everything tries to eat them. This species is pretty common. Let's see if I can kind of nudge it onto my fingers and we can take a closer look. I'm not sure if it's already mated and it's no longer. Isn't that cute? Look at that thing. Look at the abdomen with the tiger stripes on it. Super nice. I'll put him back here. Oh, he's very tolerant. Okay, are you ready for a little game of, let's see if we can catch the grasshopper? Here we go, here we go, around the back. He spotted my hand. Oh, he jumped, ah, I lost him. Okay, there's a big grasshopper in there. I'm gonna try one more time, see if I can catch him. Oh, he went over there. Hold on, come to Papa. Here we are, here we are, gotcha. Okay, ready, here we go. You're gonna see him, he's gonna fly, get ready my focus and hello 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 hi how are you he was munching on that silver grass Aren't they cute now he doesn't want to leave bye see you later okay that's enough it's been fun meeting you now go away see you later goodbye okay goodbye. hey you're back hey this is my turnaround spot so it's time for you guys to think What's maybe a question you have that's related to something you saw today that you'd like to ask? Or maybe you have a story that you want to share that's related. Drop your comments below in either a note or an audio link. And hey, thanks so much for coming on this journey today. This is Mr. Rhodes, over and